good morning from Tokyo, Japan. This is my first time in Tokyo, but Mark's been here probably, what, half a dozen times? 31 times. Well, no, to Tokyo, oh, specifically. Tokyo at least a dozen times. Yeah, and uh, th like he said, this is his 31st trip to Japan. It's only my second, so he's showing me around for a change. This morning, we're go going to the Imperial Palace, so stay tuned and come along with us. here and they're not any more expensive than uber so take your pick whichever is most convenient how many taxi drivers do you see anywhere else in the world polishing their taxi look for the walk signs you will rarely see the Japanese cross against the light So according to this, this gate that we just came in, right here, is the Otiman gate, and it was originally the main gate. And this fish here was on top of one of the larger gates, um, which was destroyed in World War II, and it's since been rebuilt, but this was an original fixture. So I wanted Mark to stand next to this wall to give you some scale of the, the, num the blocks here. I would imagine these were built by samurai, wouldn't you? They are. In fact, the samurai are the people that uh, engineer as well as do the construction. Yeah, so and another note here that makes it really impressive is look how well these fit. And there is absolutely no cement or binder in those. These are strictly sitting here by gravity and made to fit just perfectly. It's really amazing. There's dirt behind here. So they sure. first build the, the hill and then they pack the stone against it. Yeah. It's amazing though that they survive all the earthquakes. So we're just walking into the gardens and you can start to see some of the iconic Japanese flora and fauna here. Well, flora. Well, the bonsai. We haven't seen any fauna yet. Um, yes, the bonsai tree. This is one of three remaining guard houses here in the gardens. Um, when dignitaries came to meet with the emperor, the guards and servants and so forth were not allowed inside. So they waited here in the guardhouse until it was time to leave. Love the roofs. This is Fujimi Yagura, which was one of the defense towers. And they were usually placed on the corner of the wall or other important points along the castle complex. So this is a defense house, or guard house, that you're actually allowed to go in. It's worth that steep climb. And do make sure when you come into the buildings that you take off your shoes where you're asked to do so. Now we're walking on this um, modern floor here, but it would have all been the large wood 
flooring. They had these large sliding doors and windows as well. I think you can see that one over there. Back here you can see part of the original moat which now just kind of looks like a swamp. Right now we're headed up to the base of the main tower, which would have been this. It's no longer there, but we're headed up to this base here you can see the wall and we're walking up to see the ruins here we have a very large stone compass i'm guessing that's north We just finished the Imperial Palace and um, I want to clarify there is no palace that you can actually go into it's just the palace grounds the original palace is long since been gone it was burned down and the palace now is a modern building so it's nothing special but the gardens are absolutely beautiful and um, we're a little too late here in Tokyo for the rose um, cherry trees I'm sorry for the cherry blossoms but boy the azaleas were we hit them at the perfect yep. time so it is definitely worth a visit it um, is a lot of walking but it's just beautiful gardens if you love nature um, it's a beautiful place to come and spend half a day just kind of leisurely walking around and see some typical Japanese garden but you also get a chance to see the architecture of a medieval Japanese uh, type castle. You can see the layout, the original wall, almost all of it is here. Uh, you can see even some of the watchtowers, guard towers, yeah. as we've gone through some of those, uh, as well as some of the battlements uh, that you can see here. So if you like the history piece, which I do, you'll really enjoy that. Yeah, and a couple of the smaller buildings too, like servants buildings that were the traditional Japanese wood style buildings that you get to see on the outside. You don't get to go inside. Um, you really don't, you really can't go inside much. We went yeah. into one, one building and that's pretty much it. So it's mostly a garden, but again, well worth a trip and it's a it's a beautiful beautiful park in the big city of Tokyo so I highly recommend it
So here's a pro tip. We just walked right in this morning. I mean, we had to get our bags checked, but there was no line at all at 9.30. It is now 11.23, and this is the line to wait to get in just to have your bags checked. So come early.